two, three, testing, one, two, three, testing. Is that okay? Okay, I'm just going to start. Okay, so why are you here protesting today? Because um, Antonio Villaraigosa made some pre-election promises, not only to the residents of Los Angeles, but to the animals imprisoned in the six city animal death camps. He made that promise in January before he was elected mayor. And he said, if you vote for me come April, I promise I will get rid of Gurdon H. Stuckey, who is the inept, incompetent, egregious general manager of the LAS. And he basically reneged on his promise. He slapped the residents of the city in the face. He slapped the animals in the face by not keeping his promise and doing the ethical, logical thing. That is the first step to stopping the killing in this city. Now, why did your group and other groups believe him as a politician? Because we had heard that his liaison was a person who cared about animals. And so we were naive and we believed the liaison. I never personally trusted Villaraigosa because when we went in front of the city council and he was a council member, we had told all the city council the horrific, um, inept, archaic policies that our animal services is still using while other shelters around the nation are implementing progressive no-kill policies which drastically decrease the kill rate and increase the adoption rate. We told them how backwards, how unprofessional, how abuseful, how neglectful the employees are. And Villaraigosa sat and listened to us with the other city council members and did nothing. So I didn't have a lot of faith in him, but what we did feel is that he would have to do the right thing because he made the promise. He might not have wanted to, but because he made that promise along with others to get rid of Gurdon Stuckey, we felt, my God, he's making a promise on camera. He's got to keep it. Okay, what are some of the, the problems with Stuckey? And then the next aspect of the question is, who is really the right kind of person to be in that position? Well, there are several brilliant candidates who want the job right now. It takes a, a person who will embrace the no-kill philosophy, who is bright enough to implement all the no-kill solutions. And we have a list of those no-kill solutions on our website. So if you go to www.stopthekilling.net and click on no-kill solutions, you'll see a plethora, a hundred, just off the top of one's head, of policies that are being implemented right now in other cities and that have been proven to stop the killing but are not implemented in the city of LA. So those other candidates need to implement those and they will, I believe. They also need to be creative, enthusiastic. They need to rally the citizens of Los Angeles. They need to um, advertise, 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 um, reach out to the, to the Hispanic population. They need to reach out to everyone to let everybody know that there are thousands of beautiful cats, dogs, puppies, kittens, rabbits, wildlife, um, just waiting desperately to be adopted. And if they're not adopted, they're going to be killed. Have you seen any improvement at all in the, let's say, the last one to two years? No. And that is because both Jerry Greenwald, the former general manager, and now Gurdon Stuckey are both bureaucrats. They are both people that don't care about animals. Gurdon Stuckey doesn't even share his home with a companion animal. He doesn't even like animals. He basically doesn't even understand how we can get to no-kill. He proposed a no-kill plan that was so bad, it was so inept and incompetent that even people who were a little bit hopeful about Stucky were totally turned off and shocked. It was like, it was as if he, seriously, it's as if he just doesn't like animals and doesn't want to help them. How do you keep hope and what is your vision? I keep hope because if we get a good, enthusiastic general manager, that is the step 
the first step, but a very important step to no-kill because they will clean up the employees, they will get rid of the employees that are abusing animals, that are neglecting animals, that are killing animals. They will... Um, they will do so many great things and, like I said, implement those policies that are proven to stop the killing. Gurdon Stuckey will not do that. He cannot do that. And we are here to hold the mayor accountable. And we will be here as long as Gurdon Stuckey is around. Animal Defense League Los Angeles and other groups will be on his back his entire mayoral term unless he does the right thing and stops the killing. Last question. What can everyday average person do to help uh, turn this into a no-kill city? They can educate their neighbors. They can go out into the community and tell them about all the wonderful cats, dogs, puppies, and kittens waiting to be adopted. They can um, hold seminars. They can invite Nathan Winograd to speak to neighborhood councils. They can invite... Um, they can invite local stations, local newspapers to do articles on the wonderful animals in, um, in the city shelters right now. There's lots of things that they can do, but they really cannot do anything right now because of Gurdon Stuckey. He put stumbling blocks in front of everybody, in front of the commission, in front of the public. He is very antisocial. He doesn't want to work with the humane community. He is the biggest stumbling block, and until he goes, we cannot move forward to get to no-kill. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you Appreciate it. Much. Okay, we'll let you know what we're putting together. Thank